Hi everyone, just a quick Q&A session about the Umrex Code SAA. In the first video I've done, you guys have asked a lot of things about this revolver, so I'm gonna try to go through all the questions so far I've seen uh, in this video. We'll go from the barrel all the way to the back of this gun. Let's get started. First off, about the colors of this gun. How do I get a finish like this? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, I got the blue version of this gun and the color basically worn down as time goes on. So now I get this kind of blue, purple and bronze kind of mix color, which actually look pretty cool. And now we'll move on to the inside of this gun. And here's the internals of this gun. Again, I will try to answer questions from the barrel all the way to the back. The number one question I've seen people asking is that how do you take out the entire barrel assembly of this gun? To do that, you have to first remove the trigger assembly of the entire gun, then take out the cylinder, and then underneath, there's one pin you have to punch out and so and you have to punch out this pin as well in order to remove the barrel. So here we go. Before you take down the entire trigger assembly, I would recommend take a pictures of this if you are not confident of uh, putting this back together. Here is all the parts of the trigger assembly. Then you remove the cylinder. How do you do that? It's basically just remove this pin. And then here's the cylinder. You will see there's a small pin right here uh, next to this screw hole. Uh, so what you want to do is just punch out this one and two pin. So here we go. And here's the pin. Don't mix them up though, they're completely different sizes. Here's the barrel. Next question, how do you fix the wobbling out of barrel? To fix that, you can choose to use some of these uh, thread seal tape to wrap around the connecting point of the outer barrel and the receiver. So basically you, what you want to do is just fill up the gap between this connecting point and the receiver hole and then just shove it back in and it's not moving. Also regarding the barrels of this gun, people may ask, can you fit a hop up on this gun? I think it's possible but it involves a lot of machine work. You can try to melt off some of the parts of this um, stock barrel in order to fit a hop up rubber and you also have to bore out um, this chamber in order to fit that hopper bucket. You can also try to grab a uh, gas bow back barrel or G, uh, AG barrel in, and then modify it to fit the uh, spring as well as the chamber. And then you drill through the uh, receiver and the outer barrel and the chamber in order to fit a adjustment uh, dial some, or something. Next question, how do you remove the gap between the hammer and the receiver? You can try to file down the sear of um, the sear at the back of the trigger as well as the plug at the front of the hammer in order to minimize that gap. Keep this in mind, the gap is kind of necessary for this gun because it prevents all the CO2 inside the gun release on just one single shot. At last, the grip. How do you remove the right hand side of the grip? Well, it's pretty simple. There's two screws uh, underneath the CO2 chamber. You just basically remove that two screw and then the grip will come loose. Now my uh, grip uh, is quite broken as you can see 
Uh, I'm not sure why. Probably because I set it down on the something heavy that and then crushed the grip. So yeah, it's, it's just a plastic grip, so it's not something that is particularly strong. And people may ask, uh, can you f try to fit a actual cold SIA grip on this thing? And the answer is no. The size of the grip is completely different as well as the angle. So that's all the question I've come across so far. If you want to know more about this gun, feel free to leave your question in the comment section down below. And that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next one.